2013 favorites. It's late, I know. Um, the reason being is I have been a little bit under the weather and then uh, I'm still having sniffles. There's been a lot of things going on in my life so I'm trying to um, balance everything out but I'm here today and I'm going to show you what my favorites are for the month of January. I might forget a few things here and there though because um, it's been a while and I don't really remember what I liked in January that much. The first non-beauty related items is from Guardian. It's their antibacterial wipes. Uh, this is with vitamin E and aloe vera. I love this. Um, it's very moist and it's very good at wiping away any stains or whatever. If you feel your hands is a little bit greasy or dirty, you can use this one. It has antibacterial properties and then it's very um, moisturizing too. This stays very um, moist for a long while and I love it. It's cheap. If I'm not mistaken, they are, they are selling it two for... I don't know, it's two in a pack and there's 15 sheets all together. The sheets are quite big actually. So if you do get a chance to try this out, um, go to Guardian. Another non-beauty related items is this natural insect repellent stick from BioZ. Really great. You can use it not just to ward off mosquitoes, but also any other bugs. Really great. Um, it's quite convenient because it comes in a stick and you don't need to use too much of it. It is clear. It smells quite good because it smells of uh, lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass, geranium oil and citronella oil. Very nice smelling. It's convenient to put into your handbag or you know if you like um, if you're going anywhere that has a lot of bugs <laughs> just put this on where you think you might get bitten for example around your ankle that's the worst place to get bitten by mosquitoes you can put a little bit on your back and then a little bit on your um, on your arm just to ward them off love it okay that's the end of the non-beauty related items oh i do have something food related you if you do remember i made a haul um i think the last haul that i did i bought a few bars of chocolate from marks and spencer oh my god <laughs> it's so good it's um it's very fudgy um it has a snap to it it has a chocolate coating milk chocolate coating on the outer casing so good it is a little bit more expensive about 450 per bar but it's so delicious you should try it a lot of people have been asking me where i purchased those chocolates from it's from my expenser so get it while it is still there the ones that i like um, is vanilla fudge and praline so good now for beauty related items let's start off with lip products these three are my favorite combination for the month of january i thought that i had a little bit more of this which is the wines lip liner from revlon color stay really great um it's really good if you are outlining your lips um if you're using a dark lip color or lipstick this is a really good um, lip liner in order to use I love this very much what I do is I line my lips and I color it in with this and then I use um, these two um, this made my lipstick last a lot longer which is great with um, dark lipstick this would be a great one to purchase. The next one is, uh, actually it's not my favorite, but when these two, uh, sorry, these three are combined, or at least these two are combined, 
um, it makes such a pretty color it's on my lips right now but I do have a gloss on top so if you like to see what the color is before I put on the lip gloss please lick uh, please lick <laughs> Please click on the link right here. It will take you to the tutorial. This is very rich. You see the color is a little bit brighter, which makes it a little bit harder to pull off. Okay, but when I combine it with this one, this one is also a little bit harder to pull off because it's a very dark purple color. And this one is from MAC in Shignan. This color just now was very rich from Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. So, this is Shignan. You see, I can't wear these two uh, um, on its own. But when combined, it would have this kind of color. So, that's what you should do. If you have any lipstick that you don't like, uh, several or maybe just one try to mix it with another lipstick um, either to lighten it or to darken it it would look great that's how I shop my stash just to make sure that I use these two up I combine the two together so it's a very nice lip color I love it very much um, and with this, the Revlon lip liner, it will be even better. I've got two more lip products. This one is from Maybelline and is from their Jewels or the Jewels uh, Color Sensational line. This one is in Berry Brilliant. Okay, this one I can wear on its own. Ah, oh, such a pretty color. I don't need to put on any lip gloss on top of it because it's extremely shiny. And then, what I love about these lipsticks is the fact that this one lasts a long time. If I do wipe it off um, from my lips, there's still going to be a stain there. So, I don't need to worry about reapplying my lipstick after I've eaten. So that's the reason why I love this. And then each time I use this one, I'm always amazed by the fact that I love it very much. And I think that I'm going to repurchase this um, cherry tart from the Revlon Lip Butter Collection. It's a very pretty color. Um, it's not that red. It's a little bit of a cherry kind of red very pretty if you want to find a lip color and you've got too many and you think that ah, i'm just going to wear whatever it is this is a very safe color to wear because it makes your lip look very juicy um, very full and it doesn't dry out your lips i love this stuff and like i said i'm going to repurchase this for next there are a few hit and miss um, palettes of theirs um, but from this palette right here this is the supermodel palette um, the 10 oh, is this? 10 color eyeshadow palette the runway collection I love this color see that it's very vibrant um, I've used it several times and can't remember what I used it with but I love it and this one is a very pigmented um, black um, this pink color really great for in the crease work the grays are really pretty as well so I think that I will do a tutorial for this um, palette one of these days I think I'm going to do a series um, of maybe I don't know you tell me what to do. Uh, what do I? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to do a few looks from this uh, palette or one look per palette? Let me know in the comment section below. Staying with eyes, this is from Essence and it's in Midnight in Paris. It's their gel eyeliner. 
I bought this quite a while back. This doesn't dry out. Um, the Inglot one that I had dried out, and um, but this one doesn't. It stays creamy. It's not that black. It blends very well. Um, it's very easy to uh, apply. There are no patchiness. And I love it. It's very convenient and it's cheap. So that's the main thing that you should look out for for a gel eyeliner. It doesn't matter if um, it's from MAC or anything like that. It's just that make sure that it's as pigmented and you like it and it's according to your budget. Almost everybody makes a good gel eyeliner. So do your research first. This one in particular from MAC, I love. Um, I'm always intrigued or I'm always at awe every time I use this. This is um, the gel eyeliner in shade which is a very dark green color. Let me show you how it looks like. There we go. It looks almost black but it's actually green. When you apply it as an eyeliner on a neutral eye, it's very pretty. On certain angles, it looks like you have a black gel eyeliner on, but on another angle, it looks like you have a green eyeliner on. Very pretty. I love it. I'm not quite sure whether MAC still has shade uh, gel eyeliner or not, but if they do, um, if you can get hold of it, this would be a very nice gel eyeliner to work with. It's great to have in your collection because very vibrant. I think I'll do a tutorial on that one day. This one is also from MAC. This is the paint pot in Mosscape. I always keep my paint pot tightly closed because I don't want it to dry out. This is how it looks like. It's a cross between an olive green and a very dirty gold. Let me show you how it looks like. The other day, I used this and I placed some uh, black gel eyeliner on. That's all that I had on my lids. I didn't even put on any um, highlighter and it looks gorgeous. See that? Ah, oh. it really plays with the lighting, so it will look a little bit more gold, would look a little bit more olive green on certain angles. Very pretty. Um, this is part of their permanent collection from MAC, so you can still get this if I'm not mistaken. I have been been to MAC in a while, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to shop my stash. So, I have no reason to go there. The last three items um, are for face. The first one, yes, I'm always in awe every time I use this. Um, it always makes my skin look brighter. But I'm not sure whether they still have this in Benefit. Because that day when I went to Sephora, I didn't see this. Um, this is the Tinted Moisturizer in New Rebel Light. So I'm not quite sure whether they still carry it or not. I saw on the Benefits website, they still have it there, but I'm not quite sure why Sephora Benefit does not carry this. Um, I love this stuff. I usually um, mix it with my long lasting finish foundation from Rimmel um, so that it you know waters down the foundation a little bit so that it doesn't look too caked on I love this uh, and sometimes I would use it on its own really great it makes your skin looks a lot brighter it evens out your skin tone very pretty stay matte foundation from Rimmel I saw that there was not that many products left on the Rimmel's shelves. I'm not quite sure why. I'm, I don't know whether they are discontinuing Rimmel or not. I hope not uh, because I love this. Um, it's one of my favorite foundations from them. If I want to find an alternative, I would probably go for that Revlon Colorstay 
Moon's Foundation? I don't know. It's something like that. Oh, Whipped. Yeah, whipped, I think. So this is one of my favorites too. My color is in 200 Soft Beige. It says here 12 hours natural shine control. Not quite sure about 12 hours because I've never used any foundation or any makeup that lasts that long. Um, because I go for my prayers, so I don't need it to last until 12 hours. Uh, but so far when I apply it, um, it does look semi-matte, um, it's not all that matte um, and it's very pretty, it's very blendable and um, very cheap too. I always go back to this, it's the Inno V Undercover Under Eye Dark Circle Corrector. I love this stuff. It's extremely good. You don't need to use too much of it, just apply just a tiny dot and then um, on each eye and then just blend it out and that's it I don't need to use anything at all after that this is a very good product and combined with uh, with any kind of uh, translucent powder it stays matte and it's not cakey at all um, and it stays it's very blendable if you like to know where to purchase Inovi items please go to their website or go to their facebook page and ask them can i add one more sim seasons ah it's a really great game uh, great gift for anyone who loves the sims and i'm going to purchase a few more after this I've been playing this almost non-stop. That's all for my favorites. So if you'd like to see any of the products being used in a tutorial, leave me in the comment section below. I will try my best to create it for you. If you'd like me to review any of the products that I've shown, leave it in the comment section below too. Uh, for any other things, let me know. You know where to find me. I do have Facebook page which I will put right here or maybe right here. I have my good race profile. I'm going to do a book review on the Beautiful Creatures book by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Uh, that'll be up soon. That's all for now. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!